Hello and welcome to the Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast with me, clinical somatic educator and founder of Total Somatics, Heidi Hadley. The Somatic Movement and Mindset podcast has been designed to help you gain a deeper understanding to how your mind and body work. You will learn about your amazing mind and body and why over time you can feel pain, recurring injuries and poor posture. Within this podcast, I will teach you why this doesn't have to be your future or the norm for you. Would you like to learn how to reduce pain, move freely and gain a new lease of life? Let's get started. Hello and welcome back. Now, just before we get started with this week's podcast, I'd like to invite you to the opportunity to join me for a really special event next week. So next week being the week beginning, the 15th of November, I'm actually going to be releasing some little videos leading up to the two days that the membership doors will be open for the end of 2021. So if you're not already on the wait list for the Total Somatics membership, go to totalsomatics.com, click on the Join Now page and leave your details just there. And then what's going to happen is at the beginning of the week of Monday the 15th of November 2021, you'll receive a few emails from me with little videos leading up to what's also going to be a very special event that weekend, which means you and I can get together online live. And if you join me live, you can also be able to see the secret super session that I'm going to hold. So I look forward to sharing so many exciting gems and goodies with you. Anyway, let's get back to this week's podcast and enjoy it. See you soon. Hello and welcome back. Now in today's episode, I'm going to start to unravel a question. Well, a question that's often asked me actually, and that is that people will say, what's the best way to release? And then they'll just mention a certain area, say the piriformis, for instance, or QL, And so what I'd like to do today is introduce you to a total somatic approach to your overall neuromuscular health and well-being. Now, the reason I say that for is that when we look through a different lens, not the lens that many people will do is feel the pain and go, let's work that area. I'd like you to become more aware of how your incredible brain, which is your software, that's what's influencing the level of tension and tone, your movement, your sensation, everything that you do is coming from your brain. So when we actually start to deepen your awareness to how your brain is patterning tension throughout your body, we then start to realize that that thought process of treating one specific area is quite an old fashioned belief system. Because if we stay up to date with neuroscience, pain science, movement science, we realize that that's not the way that we would work nowadays. What we wanna do is work more intelligently. We wanna stay up to date with the procedures and the, the way that we can actually work more efficiently and intelligently with our amazing SOMA. So, If you're a member within the Total Somatics membership, you'll know this because I'll often refer to this. But if you're new to this expression, let me start to elaborate a little bit further. And that is that in Total Somatics, we look at releasing a full body pattern of contraction. Now, if you're aware from my workshops, or especially if you are a member, you're going to know a lot more from all the workshops and all the video tutorials, everything that's in there. But you'll also know that we can't separate our mind and body. The way that our emotions are, the way that we speak to ourselves, what we absorb, what we take in to our soma, emotionally, mentally, physically, and energetically, has a direct link on our neuromuscular health and all the other areas as well linked with that. And so as a result of this, whatever happens in our life, our soma keeps a score. It's a record card of everything that we've actually encountered. So when we start to delve deeper into how your brain patterns tension, what people start to find is the areas or one specific muscle, for instance, that they want to release, they realize that that's just one of many muscles in a pattern of contraction and tension. So I'll often encourage people to start releasing tension and tightness in certain muscles in a bit more of a methodical way 
And sometimes they'll go, well, I don't actually see how this is working because that's nowhere near where my pain is. So I'll, like, I'll ask them, can you just trust the process? Can you trust how that your brain is patterning this tension, how it has a ripple effect? How when we know how your brain and brain science, neuroplasticity, how all of that starts to mold and shape the posture, the movements that you have now, let us now reverse that process. Let's see how we can start to reduce the rigidity through an entire pattern of tension that your brain has created. Because what happens is, is that you think you know what you need to do to release the muscles, but that's because you've allowed your subconscious to mold and shape and change your movements. Adaptation has happened, hasn't it? With your movements, the way that you sit, the way you stand, because you think you're standing or you're sitting normally, or you think you're moving normally. But then many times somebody may point out something about your movement or your posture by saying, well, you know, you look a bit stiff in your hips, or did you know you've got a bit of a limp? Or you may even catch yourself in a shop window or in a mirror and think, good grief, is that my back? Is that my posture? You see, until now, you thought you were normal, but who is really normal? Um, but you thought you were normal. But when you took a look at yourself through a different lens, instead of just sensing and feeling from within, you notice that subconsciously, quietly, your body has been changing shape. And so this is because there's a full body pattern of contraction that's coming about from your brain. And so I encourage with pandiculation and through total somatic movement, total somatic mindfulness and total somatic mindset principles, how we can start to unravel, how we can unpack what you are feeling and sensing that very day and using cues and insight into how you can open and expand and breathe into an area that you'd forgotten about because you've just been living subconsciously in a specific way that means it may have limited the amount of range of movement you have in your ribs. It might be affecting the rotation and the twist and the bending, everything that's going on through your center. And what I will do is within the Total Somatics membership, I guide you through a structured pathway. And then I guide you through movement classes, how you can actually biohack and get to the root cause of where that pain is. And then notice the ripple effect that it has throughout the rest of your body. And so that's why I encourage you to kind of trust the process because you don't know what you don't know. You've lived a certain way for a while. And unless you allow somebody to introduce you to breathing or moving or noticing a different way to how you've been operating, you will continue to live in autopilot. And when I say autopilot, I mean that there'll be parts of your brain that talk to different areas, say your back or your hips, your legs, those parts of your brain, if they've lost the communication of how to move efficiently, which is that when one side of your body contracts, the other side should lengthen and release to make that movement happen. If that's not happening and you're bracing and you're tense and tight all sides of your body, you've lost that muscle memory. And in somatics, we refer to that as sensory motor amnesia. So you've literally created almost like a level of amnesia. You've simply forgotten with the sensory and motor parts of your brain and the sensory and motor neurons in your muscles, how to move efficiently, how to wake up those areas and start living with greater range of movement rather than staying in a stressed, subconscious, tense, tight pattern of behavior and posture and movement, which relays back to your emotional and mental well-being. So can you see now that if I encourage you to actually start creating a movement pattern that may be away from where you feel that pain is, just think to yourself that that probably is more just a little bit of a symptom of what's going on elsewhere. And in total somatics, what we want to do is get to the root cause. We want to deal with where those recurring pain and injuries are happening. And until we actually get to the root cause, if we just stay working on an area where the pain is, it's a bit of a band-aid, really. It's not really doing anything long-term. It's just fixing a problem. And it's a temporary issue, isn't it? 
We might fix it, it might ease off for a little bit, but it will return. And it's gonna return because this is just reacting to some other areas that have created a full pattern of contraction through a full body pattern of contraction. So when you join the Total Somatics membership, and if you do, that would be absolutely awesome. I'd love to introduce you to this. You'll actually find that people have got different ways of, of noticing and different ways of taking in information. And so as a qualified adult education teacher, I've created lots of different ways that you can actually take in that information, really absorb it, embody that practice. Because when you embody that practice, that's when you really get to understand your deep internal environment. It gets you really sensitive. So you can be in different settings and you can sense and feel when your body is starting to shift into more of that stress response and how you can start to just settle back down and get back into that state of balance. And so for that very reason, that's why I invite you whenever the membership doors open again to join me and all the beautiful members from all around the world. And I'm going to teach you how you can reduce your pain, how you can improve your posture, how you can increase your mobility and develop a total somatic mindful and mindset principles to bring into your daily activities throughout the day. Not just for that little bit when you might be on the floor or wherever you do your movement practice, but this is a change, a lifestyle shift and change. Because as we know, when we develop these new healthy practices, if we do it long enough, it becomes a new level of subconscious or habitual behavior. And it's the healthy habits that we want to adopt to service well now and into our future. So I hope you can join me in the very near future when the membership doors open. If you go to totalsomatics.com, click on the join now page, and you'll notice that if the membership doors are closed, there is a wait list. So if you leave your details on the wait list, the next time we open the membership doors, you will be the very first to find out. So until next time, take care. Thank you for joining me today. If you've enjoyed this episode, please leave a rating and also forward this on to somebody you know will benefit. To learn more about pain relief, plus how to improve your health and well-being, go to totalsomatics.com. Until next time, take care.